All right, guys, I want to talk to you about wheat, okay? Um, especially the store-bought wheats, the modern wheat that we eat today. It's not the same wheat that we used to eat when we were kids, at least if you're my age, okay? Um, starting back in the 1960s, roughly, going through the, the 1990s, they were hybridizing the wheat, okay? They were, wheat used to grow, okay? Wheat used to grow about this tall, at least five to six feet tall. Uh, and the head on the wheat used to be very small, okay? So what they started doing in an effort to produce bigger yields and, and feed more people, which is a good thing, uh, they started hybridizing the wheat. And the wheat became smaller, shorter, and shorter. And the wheat head became bigger, so it produced more wheat which sounds like a great idea, and it is, you know, it is a great idea. Uh, but the problem was they didn't check if it was still edible, <laughs> all right? Uh, now what they're finding out that this modern wheat, uh, the gluten in the uh, wheat is now undigestible, okay? Um, so, they found, and I just wrote, wrote this stuff down because it's hard for me to remember a lot of this stuff. Um, the gluten that, they, that this new modern wheat produces has 14 new strains of gluten, which is really undigestible, and it tears your gut up, okay? Um, so, from the 1990s, basically from the late 1990s, maybe 2000 on up, there has been an epidemic of irritable bowel syndrome, uh, celiac disease, Crohn's disease, all these digestive issues, autoimmune disorders. Uh, it's, it's just out of control. And I suffered from a lot of it too. And my sister, she's now gluten intolerant. I have a nephew that's got celiac disease. Uh, and I'm sure you know somebody, a friend or a family member that has some type of digestive issues or autoimmune disorders and it's gotten out of control. And the whole reason for this is they've hybridized wheat, okay, to the point where they changed the structure of the gluten inside. Um, but not only that, this is icing on the cake here. And this I just found out recently because I've kept hearing about uh, them finding uh, um, uh, gly gly glyphosate in cereals and breads and things like that and that is roundup it's a weed killer so this is what i found out uh, the common wheat harvest protocol in the united states is to drench the wheat fields with roundup glyphosate several days before i'm sorry yeah several days before the combined harvesters work through the fields as this practice allows for an earlier easier and bigger harvest isn't that crazy? They spray the entire crops with, with Roundup to kill it all at the same time so they can harvest it all at the same time. It's easier that way. Because, I mean, that'd be horrible if you'd harvest some that's it's ready to harvest and some that's not, right? They're spraying poison in our food. And then everybody's eating this unknowingly. It's insanity. So, and you, you all heard, was it back in August, a jury on uh, August 10th ordered a chemical giant Monsanto to pay $289 million to a school uh, groundskeeper, his name was uh, Dwayne Johnson, who had terminal cancer caused by this uh, roundup. They are poisoning us, and they'll tell you, uh, oh, it's safe, uh, it breaks down, it gets baked out of the bread, it, it's not toxic. Uh, I'd rather not find out the hard way, okay? Um, stay away from modern wheat. Any bread you buy at the grocery store, any flour you buy, um, stay away from it. Because even if you buy organic, it's hybridized, okay? Your gut can't digest it. It's very difficult. And it's just a matter of time before it gets you. Okay? Um, so, that's one major problem. Another problem is 
that they put bromine in bread now, in flours, basically. All modern wheat, they put bromine in there. So what does bromine do? Okay. Bromine is a toxic chemical, okay? Bromine is a chemical element classified as a halogen, and it is, and it's in the same group as chlorine, iodine, and fluorine, fluorine fluoride, okay? So what bromine does, basically, is mimics iodine. It's got this very close uh, chemical structure as iodine. So your glands, like your thyroid gland, uh, has receptor sites. And all your uh, glands in your body have receptor sites that uh, take iodine, okay? But the bromine, chlorine, which is in the water, and fluorine, which is fluoride, is in the water also, and in your toothpaste, is very similar to iodine. Your iodine is essential for your, your thyroid gland to produce uh, uh, thyroid hormones. Otherwise, you'll have hypothyroidism. Um, so iodine is essential. But when you have bromine, uh, chlorine, and uh, uh, bromine that's in your bread now, that's blocking these receptor sites, uh, you're, you become iodine deficient, okay? So they're literally poisoning us. Um, whether they know it or not, I don't know. But it is, uh, stay away from the modern wheat. So what we do to fix this is buy einkorn, organic einkorn wheat berries. And we buy them from uh, jovielfoods.com. There are other places you can get them, but I just found that uh, we, we bought them from other places. Uh, but the wheat berries were dirty. They, uh, they had stuff in it, you know, and we had to kind of screen it out and stuff. Uh, but the wheat berries from Joviel, they come straight, straight from Italy and the uh, Tuscany region in Italy. And they are certified organic and they're very, very clean berries. You know, there's nothing in there to uh, clean out. So we've been using that. Einkorn is the original wheat that they've been eating for thousands and thousands of years. It goes way back to the biblical times. The Egyptians are, were eating it. Uh, this is the original wheat that people used to eat. Eventually, it did, uh, they did make other wheats from that, um, like uh, Kamut, Emmer, and uh, I think Spelt. So we will have in a future video us making Einkorn bread. Uh, we buy our wheat berries online. Uh, grind our own wheat flour and make our own bread. That's basically the only way to stay away from this modern wheat is to make your own bread. Make your, you know, make your loaves, make quite a few loaves. You can always freeze them. Uh, it's not like you have to make it all the time, but make a, quite a large quantity of it. You can always freeze it and have it whenever you want that way. Um, but stay away from this modern wheat. It's, it will get you. It's just a matter of time. That's all it is. All right, guys. So we will have a future video of us making this uh, bread. And I'll put a link to that right here when we make it. And if you don't see a link here, then we, don't, we didn't make it yet. <laughs> all right. So share this video with your friends or family, whoever is suffering from this. Get the word out. Stay away from the modern wheat. I hope this video has helped you out, again, or a family member or a friend. And just get the word out. Stay away from this modern wheat. All right, guys. So until this next video, please like, subscribe, and share. And I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.